everybody, it's Tina. Happy Friday, happy Fairy Friday. <laughs> Hope you are all doing well and have had a great week. It's the weekend. Oh my God, this week went by so fast. Can't believe it, Seth starts school on Tuesday and I I just can't believe it. This summer just flew by. Um, people have been saying this year has been on hyperspeed and I, fe I feel like it. It's just like, phew, blink and the year is almost over. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't believe it. But anyways, happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend planned. Um, we really don't have much planned, which is kind of nice sometimes because with school starting, that means, you know, things will get busy. Oh, thank you, Maureen. Hey, how are you doing? Um, yeah, yesterday, Seth and I went to Half Moon Bay uh, just to get a last minute beach visit in. Um, cause we hadn't joined, joined, <laughs> haven't visited the beach this year and we always like to do that. Hey Marvin, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't want to leave and I didn't realize it till I got home. I got pretty burnt on my face and my legs. So that's the way it goes. It's giving these a shuffle as we're waiting for you know, Facebook Live, you've heard me say it before, I kind of stretch out a little bit at the beginning because um, it takes a while for them to build an audience. And it's always more fun when people talk with me and <laughs> um, interact. So I like that. So, yeah, not much going on right now, um, astrologically. They, um, we are going to have a eclipse in... August it's going to be a new moon eclipse so what happens with that is if there's any secrets or anything they will be revealed when there's eclipse all everything that's in the dark gets revealed so um, make sure you don't have any secrets <laughs> okay since there's not a whole lot going on um, astrologically right now I'm just going to do a quick reading so Let's first, you know, I keep forgetting this. Let's do a quick meditation. It's not really a meditation, but let's do some breaths together. Um, put both feet on the ground. Put your shoulders up and back, spine straight, palms face up, and close your eyes. And let's breathe in. Hold, and then breathe out. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold and breathe out. And one last time, breathe in. Hold and then sigh it out. <sighs> kind of shake it, open your eyes. It's kind of funny, when I closed my eyes, I could still see the beach. It was so, so nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, Seth spent two and a half hours just playing in the water. He loves the water. And I almost took a nap on the beach because the waves were just lulling me to sleep. It was so nice. <laughs> so anyways, okay, let's connect with the cards and see what they have for us this weekend. I feel like the, ener the fairy energy is kind of like mine right now. Um, oh, thank you, Maureen, for showing my video. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, they're kind of like they're kind of like a butterfly. They're kind of slowly floating around, you know, just lightly touching things that need. They're kind of doing maintenance, whatever needs some tender fairy magic to make things blossom or keep things green. Um, you know, get, spreading their magic around, but you know, I feel like they're doing it kind of leisurely today. And that's kind of how I feel today. Just, you know, taking it easy. Um, so yeah, the fairies are I'm feeling it too. Just need to take it easy today. And you know, it's funny and I found out there's a couple of cards. Um, 
facing up. Um, that's kind of how life should be too. When you try to work things too hard, things get, it's like the universe works against you and things don't happen. But if you take it easy, take it, not leisurely, but go with the flow, things start happening, things start coming into your life. It's, um, you can really learn something, especially with water, because water's that way. They go with the flow. You know, if they see a rock, it, they don't try to push through the rock. They just find a way around it and go on with their journey. And we can learn with that, you know. Don't force things, don't force things to happen the way we want it to. Um, just go with the flow and if something is standing in your way, look for solutions to go around it. I don't know why I felt called to tell you that today. Okay, fairies, what do you want us to know this weekend? Okay. Eight of winter. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because you can look, if you look at this card, see if you can see her face. She does kind of look like um, she's second guessing herself. She has all this magic around her and she's magical herself. She has these magical wings and she's second guessing herself instead of show, showing up and being in her full glory. She's kind of, you know, her wings are down. She's kind of like, I'm not quite sure, kind of stuck in that cocoon, in that shell. And the fairies are telling you that you do have what it takes. You just be yourself, be authentic, let yourself shine, burst out of that cocoon, you know, ah, and come out and show the world what you're made of. Show the world your gifts. We, like I said the other day, we need your gifts. So don't be afraid to share those. And that the fairies are asking you to do that by showing you that you're playing small. Quit playing small. Quit trying to hide. We, you know, you can't share your gifts and you can't um, help others if you're hiding. And I know I do that sometimes, especially when you work from home. You don't see a lot of people. And sometimes you just kind of hide in your little house. And you know, I've been thinking about that the other day. How am I going to spread my, my gifts and let people know what I could do for them if I'm playing small and you know staying in that cocoon? And that's part of um, what I love about this Facebook Live that's helped me be in front of you guys more. And I hope this encourages you to do the same, to go out and be in front of people and show people what you have that we need. You know, we, we all have a gift that somebody out there needs. There's people out there that have what you have to offer. So um, just what it says, you have what it takes. You just need to have a little belief in yourself and believe in the universe. Believe that the universe has your back. Believe that the angels are here to support you. Ask them for, like I said, for the guidance and believe in the magic. I, I swear, once I started really working with the fairies, my life just seemed so, so much more full of magic. You just, um, you just like going to the beach yesterday, you learn to appreciate that I'm only an hour and a half away from Half Moon Bay and I can see this beautiful beach and see you know, the waves crashing in and the colors that play upon the um, water as it crashes down. And um, yeah, it, you just see the beauty in everything when you believe in fairies. And it's almost, I could swear, you could almost see seahorses on those um, waves and mermaids playing and sprites. And, you know, we saw a couple of dolphins and there was a seal that kept on swimming really close to Seth. So there's so much magic around us, um, and when you when you get in touch with that, the reason I'm sharing this is when you realize that there's so much magic around you, you start realizing there's magic inside you too, and you have that, and that magic is kind of what your shine is, your what your light is. It's your own individual magic that you can bring out to the world. So I hope that encourages you to. Um, 
start looking at things. You know, look at things at different perspective. Look at things with the eyes of gratitude. You know, your beautiful backyard, if you have a beautiful backyard, your pool, whatever you have that brings you joy. You know, every day I, I love my backyard. It has roses and flowers, and that makes me feel like I'm touching magic. So look for something in your life that brings you much gratitude. And remember that you do have magic around you. Um, just watching insects or that nature do its job is magical. And know that, again, you have that magic in you too. We want to see that. So, hi Marlene. Hi Maya. Thanks for joining us. So, yeah, quit playing small. Um, you have what it takes. Shine your light. Um, if you're not sure what that is, just keep showing up as authentically as you can. Maybe do some journaling and you know, ask others, what, what do you appreciate about me? What do you see in me that I'm not seeing in myself? Because a lot of times people, your friends see things that you really don't see in yourself. So they can help you realize what your gifts are. Um, and think about what people have told you. Like I've had a lot of people in my life, I remember way back in elementary school, that people would always tell me their um, fears, their stories, whatever's going on with them. And they've always thanked me for listening and saying, oh, you're such a good listener. So I've learned, yes, I'm a, I'm a good listener. I listen and I help people um, figure out ways to, to solve their own problems. And, and I also, I feel like I empower people and help them shine too. So, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways... That's the thing, the message of the day, eight of winter, quit playing small, realize you, there's magic around you, there's magic inside you, we want to see it, bring it out so we can see it and we can appreciate you and enjoy your gifts. <laughs> so with that, unless you have any questions, any questions or comments, I think that's a pretty card. Even though she's kind of like not doubting herself. It's like, oh, wake up, wake up. Look at all the magic around you. You have so much magic in you. Please shine. That's what I feel like saying to you guys sometimes. Come on, please, please bring your gifts out there. We want to see it. <laughs> so, okay, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate you all being here. I love you all. Many fairy blessings to you. And I will see you Monday for Angel Monday. Take care. Bye.